What? No. Okay. I'm gonna be a little bit more subdued, probably because I don't want to do like a half hour just rambling and lose my place and not know where I'm at. Like I think the last video I did. <clears throat> it's tough because it's tough to be that high energy and let myself get all amped up and get crazy and then actually remember everything chronologically how I want to do it. Like, it's hard because it's not an act. It's hard to... <clears throat> it's hard to get, <clears throat> like, amped up and get in that mood where I'm just, oh, you know, and to where it's real and it's not acting and, you know, and, and then keep track of all the points I want to make, you know? So, I mean, uh, I, I just, I'm going to tell you something. It's just as a person who's not, you know, big, big, I mean, I'm a little overweight. I'm probably about 20 pounds overweight right now. And that's not good because I had a hip replacement. So of all the stuff, you know, I wasn't that overweight. But the hip replacement would have happened anyway. It's something that runs in my family. And that's what people are trying to say about this Bob Harper thing. You know, all oh, heart disease runs in his family. It's like, so really, as healthy as somebody looks, like, they may not be that healthy. And as somebody might look at somebody and make an assumption about how healthy they are and be completely wrong. Because all these people making comments on YouTube videos, I highly doubt they're actual doctors. I'd even bet that some of them, some of the people who are the harshest critics of Candy's mukbang videos are people who are overweight themselves, or people who were overweight, lost weight, and now they have some bone to pick with her. It's like, I should have did some more research before doing this video, but I just spent this morning going, taking a bus to freaking Popeyes to get Popeyes fried chicken. Oh man, I can't get excited. It's fucking Popeyes. No, okay, now we gotta calm down. We don't. Okay, now let's see. It's that easy. It's not acting. It's like it's in there. It's like okay. Anyway, so I did this. I did this. I uh did. I went and got the Popeyes fried chicken. Popeyes is now two convenient locations on Maryland Parkway in central Las Vegas. One on the corner of Maryland Parkway and Flamingo and one on the par corner of Maryland Parkway and Tropicana. Just two major streets from each other on Maryland Parkway. Popeyes, Popeyes. Man, I hope maybe they're closing one of them. That might be, I don't know, one of them's a gas station combo. See, it's, I just see, I went to Popeyes like way off. Just let's just, anyway, so my point I don't want this to be a half hour long. <clears throat> I want to make my point, which is just that, just, I, I just, I, I guess what it is, like, I have a preference. I guess you could call it, I don't want to use the SCX word here, because I don't know if, you know, you know, you could just punch somebody and it's okay, but, you know, I might go against some kind of standards by mentioning, you know, human reproduction. Well, I could call it the act that procreation itself uh, you know, I have a preference, just like some people have a preference that's gender related. My preference is size and shape related. It's not just generic all BBWs or big women. It's like a specific shape, which would make me like a monster. I know I'm a misogynistic pig because I like women with like, like big thighs. I know. Okay. You know, I said it like, <laughs> it's not as simple as I like big butts because it's, I don't even want to get into it. But anyway. This, this simple one thing like has changed my entire life. The fact that I discovered this at 17, almost, almost by accident, but not really. Like I pictured this girl naked and it just, whoa, that's it. Like, <clears throat> like I had been aroused before finding like, like uh, adult magazines when I shouldn't have, when I was too young and stuff. And I'm looking at these women and I think what attract, what aroused me was the simple fact that they were willing to show themselves in the first place that they were like showing themselves off it's like to me as a kid that was amazing and as a kid also because i'm 48 years old when i was a kid we're talking about you know around the the late 80s early 90s to you know that era and uh there were maybe one or two magazines that catered adult magazines that cares people with this preference for plus size women but i'm not getting into all that i'm just saying my life is completely different because it created a bias like 
I don't notice skinny women. I don't go into a place and be like, oh, look how skinny she is. I don't notice. I just don't notice because they're not on my radar. It's like I'm purely heterosexual. You know, I mean, I, I find 400 pound women attractive. So being heterosexual, if I was gay, I would admit being gay. Cause you know, it'd be a lot, I don't know, at this point, it'd be a lot easier to admit being gay than being attracted to women who are like in that super morbidly obese category, which, you know, again, I'm not, I don't know what the deal is. It just happens to happen. It's not, and they exist. It's not like I'm looking for, you know, uh, anthropomorphic half, you know, dog, half chick women or something. I'm not looking for unicorns and what's that, centaurs or something. I'm not looking for stuff that doesn't exist. I'm actually attracted to something that I see out there in reality, you know, all the way from when I was a little kid. And it's weird because early on, it was like the, the super fat chick was the freak show fat chick. Now the freak show has been replaced by my 600 pound life. Like, but it's still the same thing, it still exists and all this body positivity stuff, that's awesome, but it cuts off at a certain size, apparently. It's like when you get to the size where people deem you're unhealthy, like now, you know, body positivity is a dangerous message. And it's like, it's just, I'm just kind of wondering why are people like trying to tell other people how to behave? Like, if it's not something that they're gonna go to jail for, if it's not something that hurts other people or little children or whatever, I'm like, it's not like Candy's like taking a bite out of a live chihuahua, you know what I mean? I don't understand exactly what the compulsion is that people have to point out like the fattest chick in the room or to, that's old school. Now on Yahoo, it's on YouTube, it's like, well, Yahoo too, Yahoo comments on, comments on a Yahoo news story. If it's a, a, a size positive news story, like every comment is people just angry like this is the wrong message this is this is unhealthy this is this this is that and i'm like why is it your problem like that i'm just kind of i mean i'm not upset or i'm not trolling i'm not i am genuinely curious and i'm probably going to do a lot more research on this in the future but i want to do more video editing to snazz up my boring ass videos but i want to just put it out there like why like when i see a skinny woman that i am not attracted to not attracted to at all I don't notice her. It's like I might, I might glance over, but to me, that registers as a dude to me. I don't even see it, right? But yet, the people that seem to be so disturbed that they have to be, they have to suffer for seeing plus to supersize people out there in public, and then God forbid on YouTube, they're angry. These people are angry that they have to look at fat people, okay, on YouTube. I, I'm like trying to figure out why are they so angry? Like, why are they looking? Why are they? Why do people look for fat, for videos with fat people just to like to to make weird mean comments? Like I'm wondering what is it? Is it some childhood trauma? They're like beaten by a fat nanny. Was it like a fat mom that you know you thought you know you, she just ate herself to death and it's like you lost her? So now you've got to like take out your loss on every fat person you see online. Like was it did a fat bully? I was a kid, I, there happened to be a fat female bully. We you know, I mean, she didn't phase me because I was like, I was kind of hitting on her. So she was, I'll put it this way, it was a fat chick bully that was scared of me, you know? And I was feeling she was acting tough because she was, of course, somewhat insecure. It was like kind of be the bully rather than be bullied, right? She was smart. So, and Candy has actually talked about that phenomenon. Like that's something she's done in the past. Like, like bully them before they could bully me. It's like, Maybe that's it. So some of these people, when they were a child, were they bullied? Did they mistakenly attempt to bully a fat female? And then that fat female proceeded to literally make them eat dirt and then humiliate and embarrass them and give them a new nickname for their whole kindergarten? Like what, there, there has to be some, like I want you to know, like when, when me and Candy see comments on YouTube videos that say like, you're gonna die and you're disgusting and fat is disgusting and why would you do this? Which we're actually not, it doesn't hurt as much as it makes us just wonder what kind of sickness, what kind of sickness is pervasive among YouTube commenters? Like what, we know that there's YouTube hate in the comments. Like everybody jokes about it. I wonder, it's so funny that I guess it's just as prevalent as how like rap music has already become kind of a joke because when white people do it, it's just 
rap music when it's in a commercial. When white people are rapping in a television commercial and rap survives, that's like, <laughs> where is I going with that? That's like how much of a joke, a much of an immense joke and a disappointment to everyone else in the world and on YouTube. All of you people that comment that you just, you have to get on YouTube and make these comments. And you think you could, you're gonna make us cry. Like, I can't believe they said that. Like, like because ZFR59 with some, like a dog, face in the profile image told me that I, I'm fat and I'm gonna die. Oh my God, I'm gonna die, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. Like, what do you really think? Like, do you think you have an influence? Do you really think that you're, you're changing the world? Do you think, I mean, I, we know you're having fun. It's just, sometimes I wish these people would say like, you're fat, you're gonna die. Oh, and yeah, it's like, I, it's because my mom died, so you trigger me. Or, or, or you're fat, you're disgusting because I got picked on when I was a little kid by a fat woman, a fat girl in high school, in, not in high school, in, in any age. I got picked on. And, you know, another thing, like, how is it that these people don't understand that they're actually, they look, you look like a tool of the diet industry. Like, are you actually getting, this is a theory. Like, I know bariatric surgery and stuff goes up and down in popularity over the years. Every time they come up with a new procedure that's a little bit, quote, safer than the last one. Like we know stomach safe and kill people, but now bypass is better. And then we know bypass kill people, but now lap band's better. And it's like, you know, and every couple of years, the surgery has like a re rebirth, like a phoenix. It starts going down, down, down. Even the company Allergen sold the lap band division. So lap band, the very people who started the marketing of lap band have already sold it off because it's now, it's it's downward spiral time. So every time, so I'm starting to wonder if the bariatric industry literally pays people to go make comments, like go find all the fat people you can online, anywhere, everywhere, find all the body positive stories and find all the fat stories and just lay in, just, just the meanest, harshest, fat stuff, like like something they never heard before. Actually, start out maybe just letting them know they're fat because, you know, they probably don't realize that. The fact they have to buy stuff and X sizes and that they probably don't even, it hasn't even occurred to them they're fat. So you're doing them this huge favor, telling them that they're fat. I'm sure they didn't, I'm sure it never, so, I mean, I want you to real, I just want to address all you little people. Like, first, we know most of you are like five to 12 year olds, probably, you know, like just started to read and you're showing off your typing skills and, you know, maybe you just, oh, it's fat, fat. You look, if you're not like six years old, you'll look like it. You actually do. I've had like a, I had a four year old tell me it's like, you know, girls have long hair. And I just laugh, because I'm like, wow, you haven't even been afflicted by the nanny state in public schools yet, and you've already made gender assumptions about my hair. Wow, like, congratulations. And then I punched, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't punch a four-year-old, okay? But, you know, uh, I'm gonna point out, though, the fact that when you make these comments, okay, when you make these fat comments, I want, I want you to, I want you yourself I want you, the angry commenter, I'm directly gonna address you. I want you to go look in the other comments of all these fat videos. And I want you to notice a trend that, that you're not the first one or you're not the only one. And then I want you to realize, like I said, like when people harbor such a serious resentment and an inner hatred of a, of a group of people that they, they they can't express in regular life, so they go anonymously on YouTube and Yahoo comments and just make these just asinine comments. Like just, they don't make any sense at all. Like the whole, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. It's like, you know, we have a lot of online doctors here. It's like, first, I have to point out, when somebody says they're vegan, I'm gonna call them a fucking liar anyway. I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna believe another vegan. After some shit I've read, all you vegans can suck it, you're liars. You're not vegans, you're liars. Number one, number two, <laughs> just like nobody's gonna tell me crap online and expect me to believe this crap about themselves, I'm not gonna believe somebody says they're an actual doctor. 
And even if there are a doctor, here's the, the irony, okay? A real doctor's already told her she's gonna die. So you know what, it's like, you still aren't doing anything. And you know what, I, I'm not trying to make it stop. I'm just pointing out what complete morons you look like. Like you just, like how, you look like just miscreants of society that just, like it's amazing you're not in jail or in an institution. You know, it's like, actually this is, I see this a lot in comments, the other side on mental health stories. They say, this is what we get for closing all the asylums. This is exactly what happens. You got all these crazy people out there, you know, and they're just sitting on a computer online. They're probably in a library. They're just spewing it. They're just like every, it's like, you think, you think people that click a video on YouTube, you think it's an accident that they ended up at that video? You think they were just like, oh, fact check, Jesus, fuck. You know, you think they just, I'm disgusted. Look at this fat woman. I had no way of knowing in the thumbnail that what I would be seeing in the video. No, it's like you, when you go into one of these videos, when you go into Harvey Fatchick and you go on these events and you, you click, you know, put your little thing in there and you log in and you log into your account that you don't post videos on because you don't want to get your video posting account deleted for being an asshole. So you make sure to go log out of your main account, log into your little shit troll account that has no videos or has your anime collection or your whatever, you know, and, and you use this to go talk about how fat people are horrible. It's like, I don't know, he's a 12-year-old with a fat mom that's trying to tell him what to do and he's fantasizing about, I, don't, I, don't, I shouldn't even get into it. Matricide is off the table. We're not gonna get into that. But we're gonna, the fact that I know what matricide is in the first place, again, you know, we're all, the people used to ask me, you like big big women, Is it, was your mother big? And I used to look at them, I'm like, why? You think I'm screwing my mother? What, I mean, what? What does that have to do with anything? Like what, I used to, I wanna ask, ask, like answer a question with a question. I just, cause really, I just didn't, I couldn't understand. It was like, why don't you ask a gay person why they're gay? Why don't you do that? Like, why don't you ask one of these, one of the, one, why don't you ask a, let's see, blank race person why they only date blank race that's not their own? I noticed I was very clever and not coming to the assumption of what race the male or the female is. Notice, I just, you know, let's get into an inner, like I only want an inner relation, inner relation, inner racial relationship. Like what, what, and those people exist. Those people, I only like tall people. I only like short people. I only like little people. I only like, you know, it's out there. I only like, you know, huge breasts or whatever. It's like, you know, I had one woman tell me, you only like fat women because of big breasts. I was like, what, what? Like, what? Like, do you ever meet guys when you just come at them with these weird assumpt psycho assumptions? Like, I could just imagine what a relationship would be like with somebody who's like accusing me of inventing a whole fetish that I've been cursed with my entire life for some big titties. Like, I couldn't just get big titties without having to get into the whole fat thing. Like. Okay, uh, I'm probably literally turning red now. Now I'm getting into the mind stuff, but I'm all over the place, see? I'm all over the place, I can't, this is too much. And I'm not gonna use Yahoo video stabilizer either to have this wild one crap going on because whenever I do this, the, it wants to act like, the camera's on a tripod, YouTube. I keep calling YouTube Yahoo. I just keep, I, I just, I'm having a short circuit. I had a busy day, you know, I had to go get, like I said, I had to take a bus ride <clears throat> to go get Popeyes so that Candy can eat the Popeyes <clears throat> and a bunch of 12 year olds can tell her she's gonna die because she's eating Popeyes. Because God knows, you know, a fat person eats Popeyes and their heart literally explodes, right? Like, like I guess, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure, like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I, I'm overweight. I'm finally a little bit overweight. I'm not that much overweight, but I'm sitting here. I know I don't speak for Supersized people, but I just again the whole the the fat hate the the fact that people just look at a thumbnail and they're like, you know, they're clicking the thumbnail of a fat person just to make a comment about a fat person. Like they're oh I got a fat joke oh I got you know or oh I get this opportunity to 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 
to exercise my internal hatred and resentment for obese people because I was traumatized at an early age and I can't deal with it. And I'm, there's nothing wrong with me though, I don't need to go to a psychologist because I can just go to every fat profile online and just ream them a new ass. So that's fine, I'll be fine like that. I'm perfectly functional. Except I have the weird compulsion, you know. That's not something people dudes would put on dating sites. And I like to go to YouTube and just, just rip into fat people like there's no tomorrow. Like I don't think, <laughs> you, ever, you know the thing about like people that abuse animals is this possibility that they might turn out to be like serial killers and stuff. Now, yeah, now you take this other thing, people that just pick some random group of people and just decide that <clears throat> they're going to exert all of their hatred, every shred of the hatred they have in their body towards going after that group of people. And then if that group of people isn't like terrorists or isn't like, you know, some horrible thing, it's fat people, like, right? it's not animal abusers. It's not, you know, child abusers. It's not like they, they, they could go be a social worker. They could go become an advocate for abused women, abused children. There's all these causes. They're worried about food related stuff since they got the obsession with fat people. Why not work with food charities or, you know, there's so many things you could just, you could do to redirect that negative into a positive. But you know what? I, I want those people to keep doing it because it's, there's, it, I, I hate to admit, but it's funny to me because they, I think that they're, they're just stupid. I think they're, they, they have a problem. I, I sit here and, and come up with ideas about what traumatized, like reading certain lines. It's like sometimes somebody, you almost got to give them credit because they try to come up with a fancy new way of you're going to die. Like, also the whole, like, the, the thing where the, this has already gotten too long. I can't get into the obesity conspiracy. The fact that in capitalism, we've been encouraged to consume all these high calorie foods that are also kind of expensive. Sometimes, no, actually poor people are the fattest because quote, good food, when people tell you, you need to eat good food. It's like, you realize good food is more expensive than crappy food? Like, I, I don't know if this has occurred to people, but first, losing weight so hard, it's a news story when somebody does it. Like, Jared, like, I, I'm not gonna get into the subway thing, I'm not gonna get into the Jared thing, but Jared, the reason Jared got famous, because he lost weight. You tell me, you know, if you lose weight getting, if you get famous losing weight, then how frequently do people lose weight and keep that much weight off? Like, does every person that loses that weight get famous? Like, no, but just about everyone has a news story. It's like on, on Yahoo News or on Google News, every, every time, it's gonna be like once a week. It's about as frequently as you see like the child mauled by a dog, you'll see like a woman loses 100 pounds. It's like, it's like it happens. I know, it's a horrible, morbid comparison. <laughs> Maybe I'm morbid. So using the term morbid obesity, it just made me more morbid. Like, because I'm 48 years old. I'm, I am facing mortality every day. Believe me, I wake up and feel something different. I'm gonna die. Like, so you know what? We're all gonna die. If Bob Harper catches a healthy heart attack. You know, at 51 years old, and he's pumping iron every day, telling fat people how to behave, how to you know live, and he's gonna die. But again. You know, he has a heart attack. It was a family thing. It was in his family. He's healthy though. It's like, I don't know. I bet there's some, you know, 55 year old fat people that never had a heart attack. So, you know, and Bob Harper would be like, they'd have one on Bob. And all these people, this is the greatest comment. People, when I, when I had a hashtag Bob Harper and hashtag healthy right, people are like, oh, you're, you know, you're gonna, and this is when I had a profile that had a picture of candy. They're like, oh, he's gonna recover and, and be running around her grave, your grave, or he's gonna, two different people try to come up with the same thing, like they were smart or clever and they weren't, they were stupid. And it was like, I even forgot, it was so moronic how they tried, two different people, like they, they didn't even check to see if another person had done it. This is what I'm talking about. Go to the comments of a fat person, any fat person, not, I would say go to Hungry Fat Chick on YouTube just because I, you know, it's might, might benefit me, I don't know, but it might. But if you go, that's just one example. You know, Candy's not gonna quit because FY725Z said she's a disgusting pig. You know, she's not gonna quit. It's like, in fact, this kind of stuff is making us like more determined. 
Like you realize we know there are people out there that are addicted to or have a sexual preference for humiliating people or attempting to humiliate people. So it's like we know that there are these people that are literally like kind of perving with the hate. If that's what you ever wonder, why do people make these comments trying to humiliate and embarrass people? Because they get off on it. That it's an actual sexual thing. It's really disgusting. So it's that they're not making DS people look very good. You know what I'm saying? Like I realize it's not all DS people and all that stuff, but this whole the whole you know humiliation people, the kind of masochist people that get off on humiliating people. You know, you're disgusting. You know what I mean? You're disgusting. Nobody likes you. You know what I mean? Like they look at your comments, it's like what an asshole. Like nobody likes you. So. Oh my God, it's turning it around. I just turned it around. <laughs> like the guy is trying to humiliate people. I just tried to, I didn't try. I just pointed out that nobody likes you. So, and we all know what you're doing. Oh my God, here we go. I'm quoting that guy in the supermarket that came up on me. He said, you need to move along. I know what you're doing. Like, I know what they're doing. They're doing the same. They need to move along. But no, they should move. They need to sit there and just... Turn off AdSense and make sure you leave the video playing while you're typing your comment, because that would be even better right there. It's already awesome that you're you're participating, you're creating comments, which there are YouTubers that wish they could get so much contribution to comments. They wish, and they can't, you know? And it's like, you know, and it might not be all good, but you know, on YouTube, you take what you can get. I mean, look at my videos. Check my videos and all my interaction out. You'll see some real heavy-duty interest in this, right? So I just had to get this out there to get it out of my system. This is too long already. So, you know, you like to humiliate people on YouTube. It's like, you're so awesome. You're the man. You like humiliating people. Oh.